Hey, deserving listeners, this episode is a deep dive on narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder. I recently sent out a survey to all my patrons on Patreon, asking them what sort of deep dives they wanted me to do, and narcissistic personality disorder was the clear winner. I've been wanting to do a deep dive on narcissism for years. I even bought a number of books years ago just for this episode, and I've been compiling research and whatnot, but other things have taken priority, other deep dives, other professional endeavors. Also, I knew that this episode would possibly be one of the most, if not the most involved episodes I've ever done before, and it was always scary to me. I would would see it on my list of episodes to do, and I'd be like, oh boy, that's going to be like two or three months of, of research and note taking and thinking and talking and blah, blah, blah. So, but I finally have time to do it now. So, so, and the patrons motivated me by voting for this as their most preferred deep dive. And this episode is going to be a long one. There's just so much to talk about, you know? What is narcissism? What's the history going back to Freud and and before Freud? Are we becoming more narcissistic as a society? Are there movies that depict narcissism well? Does Trump have narcissistic personality disorder? What about Facebook and social media and taking selfies? How do we treat narcissistic personality disorder? What's the conceptualization of it? Is it it even treatable to begin with? And there's really just so much bad information about narcissism on the internet. I couldn't find a single resource that explained narcissistic personality disorder well enough for me to hold something up and say like, this is what you need to read in order to really get narcissism. I, I just I just could not find that. There was one resource that I, there were, there were a couple of resources that I liked. There was one video that I saw on YouTube that I saw in all my research over the past number of months. And I just recently tried to find it again and I couldn't find it. <laughs> you know, I've looked at hundreds of sources and the, and the sources are either super simplistic, which seemingly results in a lot of people completely misunderstanding the point of narcissistic personality disorder. It, it's, it's laughable how lay people think they understand these sorts of things without any training. The other source that I liked, in addition to that one video I can't remember and can't find, is Otto Kernberg actually has some short YouTube videos. I mean, I've heard respectable podcasts talk about narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder in a way that completely misses the point. There was one podcast that talked about how every, every young person suffers from narcissistic personality disorder, or like half of our society suffers from narcissistic personality disorder, which I get. Because in order, to, in order to understand narcissistic personality disorder, you have to understand personality disorders in general, which is extremely difficult. You have to understand personality in general, which is really hard. You have to understand psychological development and attachment and the history of psychology and psychotherapy and psychiatry. You have to understand the nature of diagnosing, which is extremely elusive. You have to understand what it feels like to be with someone who has narcissistic personality disorder and so on and so on and so on. There's just, it makes sense that no one gets it. What I don't get is that everyone doesn't realize they don't get it and yet they talk about it anyway. When I graduated with my degrees, I did not understand narcissistic personality disorder. Just because I had the education didn't mean I understood it. I, I had the criteria. I had been given some vignettes. I had written papers. I had... Um, watched videos, I had heard lectures, and passed my classes, I still didn't understand narcissistic personality disorder. In order to understand the disorder, you have to work with clients for years. Frim and colleagues had a study in 2011. In that study, they presented some case vignettes of of, uh, personality disorders to lay people. And they found that lay people had a hard time understanding personality disorders in general, and they had the hardest time identifying narcissistic personality disorder in the vignettes. Something like 4% of people got it right or something. It was some kind of really low rate. Also, most clinicians don't understand narcissistic personality disorder. So why would lay people understand it? You know, for example, one study found that 50% of patients with personality disorders who entered a hospital were misdiagnosed. They're often misdiagnosed with bipolar or major depression. When someone comes into their 
office to be assessed who has a personality disorder, 50% of the time, those patients are misdiagnosed with something other than a personality disorder, often bipolar or major depression. Half of the time, qualified clinicians are misdiagnosing. Um, in this episode, I hope to actually do my little part to eliminate that confusion. We see it on the internet all the time. There's a huge trend for people to be labeled with narcissistic personality disorder. Of course, we know Trump is often identified, but Obama was identified. Depending on the echo chamber you existed in, you either might be surprised by that or completely um, know that. If you're a Republican, you've probably read several psychologists diagnose Obama with narcissistic personality disorder. That was one of the main refrains of the right. Um, Hillary Clinton was diagnosed with NPD. Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, they all have, all you got to do is type in like famous people with narcissistic personality disorder, and you'll see these completely unfounded claims of several people. Now, what I'll say from all that is, I'm not saying they don't have narcissistic personality disorder. I'm just saying there's no way for you to know. Basically, the media seems to think that every celebrity is automatically a narcissist. <laughs> like they're, they're, you know, Madonna, basically anyone who is huge and famous and basically makes their living from being famous is they're automatic, they automatically suffer from narcissistic personality disorder because look at them. All they want to do is be in the limelight. And it's like, well, um, uh, that's extremely simplistic. That I mean, that's that's like saying anyone who's crying suffers from major depressive disorder. It, it's a sign, but you know, <laughs> many people cry and don't suffer from major depressive disorder. Many people end up becoming a celebrity and don't suffer from narcissistic personality disorder. Whenever you look at narcissistic personality disorder articles or narcissism, they frequently will have some kind of picture of a young, attractive woman taking a selfie right? They'll have some young woman taking a selfie that is somehow equated with narcissistic personality disorder, or even just generally narcissism in general, which is super cliche, uh, totally not accurate. Taking a selfie is not a sign that someone has narcissistic personality disorder. It's not even a sign that they have any narcissistic traits. It's just a sign of someone who wants to take a picture of themselves. And they're probably in a cultural group of people that like to do that sort of thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it's not indication of any sort of pathology. And just because um, you're old and cranky and you don't ever take selfies of yourself doesn't give you the right to diagnose other people or judge others because of their behavior. Uh, I'm Asian and a lot of Asians take selfies. So, you know, screw you if you think that that is some sort of indication of something wrong. Now, it can it be a sign? Can it be a yellow flag, so to speak, or a, a minor red flag of uh, narcissism? Yeah, absolutely could be. But uh, to, again, it'd be like saying if someone's crying, uh, they suffer from major depressive disorder. Um, and it's just a gross misunderstanding of depression and of narcissism. Also in the media, it just seems like narcissistic personality disorder is used to label people that you, people just don't like, you know, a politician that they don't like, a, cele a celebrity they, they don't like. Kim Kardashian, you know, a lot of people like to bash on Kim Kardashian. Uh, and many articles claim that she had narcissistic personality disorder. Now, I'm not saying she doesn't, right? I, I don't know. But you would have to get a statement from a clinician who had properly assessed her over time. I'm guessing that if Kim Kardashian ever did get assessed or did go to therapy, that she wouldn't consent to that person blabbing to the media. So we'll probably never know, really, if Kim Kardashian has the disorder. And, you know, we'll just have to live with that, with that terrible, uh, um, that terrible notion that we just don't know. How about that? How about we just don't know? And I find it funny who the media or people on the internet decide to identify as a narcissist, right? Kim Kardashian is a narcissist, but Donald Glover, no one's claiming he's a narcissist. They're both celebrities who love fame and they're both people who do, who do a lot of things for fame because the media loves him and, and he's generally loved and Kim Kardashian is generally hated. Kim has narcissistic personality disorder. Donald does not. There's plenty of people who are clinicians being interviewed on the media or just writing their own articles, blog posts, diagnosing people with various things, including narcissistic personality disorder, which is uncool. 
So in this episode, I'm going to try to alleviate that problem. And I'm really going to try to explain what narcissistic personality is and what narcissistic personality disorder is, what it really is, what it looks like exactly, how to recognize it, where it comes from, you know, what causes it. And I'm going to talk about the definition. I'm going to talk about the prevalence. What is it exactly? And I'm, I'm going to really try to convey what the disorder is. I'm going to really try to explain it from a number of angles, really try to get rid of the misconceptions. I'm also going to talk about what narcissistic personality disorder is not, what celebrities have it. Does Trump have narcissistic personality disorder? Does Obama? Do I have narcissistic? I'm going to talk about myself in this episode because I, I have some traits. I'm a podcaster, for example. I, I chose a job that involves me yammering into a microphone and asking other people to listen to me. That's, you know, that's a narcissistic task. And along those lines, I'm going to talk about the spectrum of narcissism. Uh, what does the research say? What's the history of the term and of the diagnosis going back to the 1800s? What does the DSM say? How can you detect narcissistic personality disorder in someone else? How, how do we treat it? That's very important, right, for you clinicians out there. Can, can we treat it, right? Welcome to the Psychology in Seattle podcast. I am your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a therapist and a professor and someone, I would say about 5% on the spectrum of narcissistic personality, maybe 10. Um, not to brag, just joking. This episode is just for patrons of the podcast. So if you're listening to this and you're not a patron of the podcast, this episode will end before the content begins. If you want to hear the full episode, you have to become a patron of the podcast by going to patreon.com. So go to patreon.com, become a patron, and when you become a patron, you'll get access to this entire episode, along with hundreds of other deep dives that we've done that I, you know, borderline personality example, um, histrionic personality, passive aggressive personality, I've done deep dives on them, dozens of others. And remember that a portion of your monthly pledge goes towards various charities that we support.